one of the issues that I see a lot in my travels and as I deal with these crops from a forage perspective is variety selection is uh, very important um, from several standpoints. One being getting the right uh, relative maturity so that we're in a weather pattern that we have more days to get this done. Uh, oats, again, are tend to be more forgiving than some of the other small grains in that manner. Um, these are Coker 227s, which is an older variety of oat. Tremendous yielder from a seed standpoint and also tends to have really good forage quality. But as you see here, this is one of the problems with uh, Coker 227s. This smut has completely killed this seed head. And uh, there's also a lot of rust on the leaves starting to show. And that is something Coker 227s in this part of the world have become very susceptible to. And so within a week or two, we could lose a tremendous amount of yield and forage quality in this crop if we weren't able to get it harvested in a timely manner. And so this is a good example of why we need to probably change varieties uh, if we're gonna continue to do this on this particular farm uh, because we are seeing the problems associated with this variety. And we have quite a few uh, different options in that regard as well. Um, like I said earlier, oats are tend to be, in this part of the world, the number one forage used for baleage. As I go into Mississippi, it's almost all ryegrass. Um, and then in me particularly, I like to blend triticale and ryegrass together. Uh, I really like the feed that I'm making uh, for my cattle with those. And then we tend to choose forages based on relative maturity so we can if we have multiple fields that we're doing so we don't have them all come together at the same time and ready to harvest at the same time it gives us more flexibility.